Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the third year tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about uh, nested loops in Perl. So we're going to follow a slightly different approach in this tutorial, uh, you know, instead of just looking at what we're doing in the script, we're going to start with a problem statement. So let's say you want to write a script that produces the following output. You want to see a pattern of asterisks and you want to see five asterisks on the first line, four on the second, three on the third, two on the fourth and one on the fifth line and you want to do this using loops or you know anything that you see fit that we've learned till now in this course and you know trust me you can do this only through loops so uh, you know it's clear to us that since we want five rows of output we would have to use some loop that would give us the uh, liberty to have uh, you know a pattern of asterisks on five different lines and uh, you know we could achieve this using a simple while loop so we need five iterations and for that the code is very simple we need a control variable for the loop first of all so for that I have created a scalar variable a which has the value 5 and I've done this on line number 3 in this script called nested underscore loops um, and then on line number 5 I have uh, the keyword while and my test condition is while a is greater than 0 so a initially has the value 5 and we are testing for a is greater than 0 so you know it's quite clear since we want 5 iterations we are going to decrement the value of a or reduce the value of a by 1 in each iteration of the loop and we're doing that here on line number 13 we are uh, reducing the value of a and also since we want uh, the cursor to be on a new line for every iteration of this outer loop we are also printing a new line escape sequence so you know this is actually not going to print the new line escape sequence but it's just going to shift the cursor to the new line so that we can print the pattern of stars on fresh line for every iteration of the outer loop so since this loop is uh, you know the main loop we call it the outer loop and since uh, you know the loop that I have on line number 8 is within this loop we call this the inner loop right uh, and uh, now that we have taken care of the first part of the problem which is to have uh, output on five different lines we now have to do something that prints five asterisks on the first line four on the second three on the third so on so forth right so for that we're going to use another loop and uh, the control variable for that is going to be called B and it initially has the value 1 and we're going to check while the value of B is less than or equal to A so remember A initially has the value 5 if B would have 1 then if you are checking while B is less than or equal to A this loop itself is going to have 5 iterations in the first iteration of the outer loop and uh, you know for the first iteration of the outer loop we are going to have 5 asterisk symbols because as I said this one is going to have 5 iterations and uh, we are updating the value of B here instead of decrementing it which we were doing in the case of A and in the second iteration A is going to have the value 4 B is going to have the value 1 so this loop the inner loop is going to have 4 iterations so we'll have 4 asterisks so on and so forth we'll have the pattern that we want so let me save this file and run it to show you the output and there we go we get the exact pattern that we wanted to print five asterisks four asterisks three two and one so on and so forth um, that's what we had to do and uh, in Perl you could nest a for loop inside a while loop a while loop inside a for loop a do while loop inside a for each or you know for each inside while you could play with loops uh, as much as you want and you could have as many loops within loops uh, there is no limit on uh, how deep the structure can be but uh, as you increase the number of loops in your script the code becomes uh, complicated it becomes hard to manage so you need to need to use the minimum number of loops as possible uh, so that your code is manageable and uh, you know you can make modifications to it if required uh, you know conveniently so that's it for this video. I hope you guys had fun watching this one. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, take care.